Okay. Um. Uh, there you go. Thank you very much, Richard. And good morning and welcome everyone to this third day of the Code Refinery Workshop. Today is the last day for this week and the last day that we will be focused solely on version control. Next week, we will be jumping into all kinds of topics around research software development. So first, a quick recap of day one and two, the introduction to version control. We learned about version control, what it is, uh, why it exists and how it can be useful, how to do commits, clone and fork repositories about branches and how they can be merged. Um, we also learned how to move from working in the GitHub web interface in the on the internet to your local environment and how to work with Git, depending on how you follow the workshop on the command line on VS Code or RStudio. So now for day three, we will be working collaboratively. And that means with others or also yourself uh, using Git. So the topic of today is collaborative distributed version control. And here, the materials are building from things that you learned in day one and two. So be prepared to also look back into the Git intro lesson if there is concepts that you maybe need to look up again. Um, but if you are joining us for the first time today and you know the basic concepts of Git, then you will also be very well prepared to follow the exercises and also the lesson materials. For the hands-on exercises, um, you need to make sure that your authentication to GitHub is working. So you can check this in the installation instructions. And um, that is when you are working on your own computer, but many of the things you can also do just from the GitHub web interface. And today it really all comes together. So everything that we learned in day one and two, um, will be present in today's exercises. This also means that it might be harder to follow if you really just learned about version control, but please don't give up if it's going too fast, if there is too many new concepts popping up here and there, then just like take a step back, try to follow as you can, and uh, remember that you can always come back and review as necessary. If you are joining today for the first time, just briefly, how this workshop works. So um, everyone watches the live stream, the thing you're watching now on Twitch. Um, we will have exercises that you can do either in your own teams that you have, uh, that you are maybe in right now, or if you don't have a team, then you can also do them on your own. And we will have a minimum of 10 minutes break on every hour. For, um, for communication from you, with the instructors, but also the instructors to you. We use a collaborative document. And if you registered, you got the link in the email um, that you got after registering. And that looks something like this. And here you can see all the important links that you need for this workshop, the agenda with the links also, for example, to the material I just showed behind this short welcome and practicalities. And then we have an icebreaker. And the way we can answer that icebreaker is we find this little pen symbol, which might be up here or somewhere up to the right with some edit. And you can click that. That changes you into edit mode. Then we can scroll down here and answer, for example, the question, what you had for breakfast? I had some bread with some cheese. And you can also do that now, just add another line here and put in what you had. And then what has been the most collaborative project so far, as mentioned before already, mine is code refinery materials. Mostly I'm working on my own. And then we have here the question and answer section. So whenever during the day you have a question, you can put it here in the collaborative document and the instructors will have a look at it. And then we also have a whole team behind the scenes which will answer your questions here. And the lesson materials are available, will stay available 
and are linked from the workshop web page. And then the recordings will be available on Twitch for some days still, and then we'll go on the Code Refinery YouTube channel. We have also updated our instructions for the certificates, which is also linked from the Code Refinery workshop page. If you go on that one, you can find the link to certificates up here and find the instructions there. And then one small reminder that on March 26th and April 2nd, we have a bring your own code session where you can really bring your own code or bring your own project and get some help from our experts in implementing the concepts that you learn here in the course. Also the version control, for example, if you have some bigger, more in-depth question about it. And now I will give over to our instructors for today, which are Radovan and Gregor.